The brain has a complex system for managing memories. And like any good management system, it has a means for getting rid of unused material. Indeed, in addition to storing and retrieving memories, the brain has a way of actively forgetting them, too. In recent decades, brain scientists have discovered part of the machinery that makes forgetting possible. They've even developed ways to manipulate that machinery artificially, using drugs. But can natural settings have the same effect? A recent study by researchers in China suggests that the tone of a social encounter is enough to suppress memories or bring them back from the dead. The team made that discovery through experiments with mice. Different groups of mice were conditioned to fear a test cage by associating it with a small electric shock. As a sign of fear, or of the memory of that association, mice that were successfully conditioned spent less time exploring the test cage than they normally would. Interestingly, however, they could be made to forget that fear when placed under social stress. Experiments showed that when fear-conditioned male mice were joined by five hostile littermates of the same sex, immediately before being placed in the test cage, they explored that cage more than fear-conditioned control mice. In other words, they appeared to forget their fear of the cage. The hostile environment created right before testing somehow made them forget. Offering a social reward, however, could reverse that effect. In separate experiments, Fear-conditioned male mice were artificially made to forget their fears, using an amnesia-inducing drug to do the trick. The wandering of these mice through the test cage confirmed the effects of the drug. But when these mice were joined by an attractive female immediately before entering the cage, they appeared to show more caution during testing. It was as if they recalled the painful shock they received during conditioning, overcoming, at least for some time, their drug-induced amnesia. Protein analysis revealed the molecular switch in charge of these apparent changes in forgetfulness. That switch comes in the form of the protein RAC1. Previous studies have shown that RAC1 activity tends to correlate with forgetting. Overexpression of RAC1 is linked to memory suppression. That link was confirmed by the findings of the current study. Social stress tended to increase RAC1 activity in fear-conditioned mice, causing them to forget the shock associated with the test cage. Social reward had the opposite effect. The presence of a female enabled suppression of RAC1 and cleared the way for memory retrieval. That memory states can be toggled reversibly from silent to latent and vice versa, largely through social cues, could hold important implications. Understanding the processes that make this switching possible could inspire new ways of examining memory in people with Alzheimer's disease and other conditions causing memory loss.